Now that we understand what is metacenter, let's derive an equation for metacentric height which we denote as the distance between the points G and M. So this is the body which is upright and this is what happens when you tilt it by an angle theta. So what happens is, uh, let us say this is the line which we take it uh, take as uh, you know datum. So when you tilt it, some part of the body comes out of the liquid and some part goes in. So this uh, wedge which is A O A dash it comes out of the water or liquid and this wedge O B B dash it goes in the liquid. So O B B dash represents a gain in the buoyancy of the body the, which is why the shifting of the center of buoyancy takes place. Okay, so this can also be justified now and this a a dash o is the loss in the buoyancy on the left hand side now what we are doing is we draw a line which is perpendicular to bb dash and it intersects the uh, original axis at m so that becomes your meta center okay so what we have done is we have you know now you look at the uh, plan of the body so you assume a small strip on the right hand side at a distance x with a thickness of dx okay so when you come to the uh, figure, let us say this, if you, if you take it over here, this is the strip that we are assuming, x. Okay, so on this part, this is that strip. What is the height of the strip? We know the thickness, it is dx. We know the distance from the axis, it is x. What is the height? So let us assume, let, let me zoom on, uh, zoom on uh, this part, so you will have like this. So this is, let us say, height of the strip and this is theta and this is x. So let me assume that this height is very small. So this means this will also be x. So the height of the strip, the height of the strip, this will be equal to x into theta. If you have got the height, uh, what would be the area? The area would be height into so if this is the height, if I multiply that with the uh, thickness, that is dx, I will get the area. So your area of the strip, area of the strip is x into theta into dx. What would be the volume? Volume would be area into length. So this is the area if you go towards the, you know, z axis, you will get your length. So this is your length in the plan. So volume of the strip, this is x into theta into L into dx. Okay. If I talk about, if I talk about this part, which is, uh, you know, the weight. So weight of the strip. So weight of the strip is the specific density or sorry the, the, the specific weight of the uh, strip into the volume of the strip. So you will get uh, rho g into x theta l dx. Okay. Now you will have a similar strip. We will assume a similar strip on the left hand side as well. And this is also at a distance x from the y y axis. Okay. This means you will have, this is on right and you will have an equal weight on the left. Due to these two things, due to these two, uh, you know, uh, values of the weight of the strip and, you know, mind you, if you go to the right hand side, this small buoyant force on this wedge is equal to the weight of the strip on the right hand side and the buoyant force which is acting downwards that is why we call it a loss in the buoyancy okay this is equal to the weight of the strip on the left hand side so you can see that the weight of the strip on left hand side and the weight on the strip on right hand side they are creating a moment of this couple so it they, they basically creating a couple which you know produces a moment and that moment of this couple would be the moment of this couple would be equal to the force into the distance between them. So this is the force into x plus x which is 2x. 
So you will get uh, 2 into x, you will get square because it already has an x over there, rho g into theta into l dx. So this is for the small, these uh, two wedges, for the entire thing you will have to integrate. So you will have the total moment, the total moment would be an integral. So you can take out rho g uh, and theta as well and you will have an integral of x square into l dx. Now when you, when your body starts to oscillate it does so around this axis. Okay, so if you look at this part which is l dx, l into dx, so this is the area of the strip when you see it from the top. Okay, so that is let us say dA. So you get 2 rho g into integral x square into dA. So 2 into integral x square dA is the moment of this area about the yy axis. So because we have two areas, I will have two taken as well. So this becomes rho g into i yy. Okay. Now this has to be equal to the moment or, or you can say the couple, or the moment couple which is produced by the shifting of the center of buoyancy from B to B1. And that would be Fb into BB1 and this has to be equal to, this has to be equal to I would say you will have theta also over here. So rho g theta into I yy. Okay. What is BB1? So if you look at this is also theta. So BB1 is also very small so I can say it will be equal to Bm theta. So Fb into Bm into theta equal to rho g theta into I y y. So you can strike off theta from both the uh, sides. So you will get the value of Bm as the rho g into I y y upon Fb. Now what is Fb if you remember? Fb is the weight of uh, the body or the or you can say the uh, you know weight of the liquid which is displaced. So weight of the liquid displaced would be the specific weight into the volume of the liquid displaced. So you can strike off this part or this is also the volume of the immersed part of the body. So your BM is I by Y upon the volume of immersed part of the body. Okay, I do not need BM, I need GM. So I have the entire distance BM. Now what is GM? GM would be then, if I write it down over here, GM would be BM minus BG. Now BG is very you know, easy to calculate because it is the distance between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy. So you can easily track that. So the value of GM would then be equal to IYY upon the volume of the immersed part minus the distance between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy. So this is the formula I would remember if I have to calculate the numerical value of GM for any body. So I hope you got this. Now let's look at a numerical application of the concept of metacentric height in the next video.